Okay, so we have Flug Fractions. Revolutionary, the absolute best way to teach your child about fractions. Annabelle Santorum, AIC, Detectives UK, hashtag 4.2 generate. Okay, what am I playing here? Wave 1. Alright. Well, what am I doing? What am I doing? So, so eat these. No, three eights. Oh, 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 oh. Indignity. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what am I? Ow. What is going on? I am confused. I'll just eat flies. Choose an upgrade. Walk on targeting. This eyeball. Static ting tong. Anything your regular old brain. Zork mids. Two fruits. Oh, yeah, I need to change the topic. Hold on a second. There we go. What the hell? Oh, whatever. Just pick walk on targeting. Yeah. Leave my, leave my fruit alone, you stupid things. Whatever you are. Oh God, I, I, I am confused. What the hell is this? As I'm attacking. That's nice, but what am I doing? Magnetic brain, anything your regular old frog brain can do. Don't give up until you get the dragon. Alright, where's the dragon then? Ah, dragon, right, okay. Cybernetic brain then. Zork mitts. I'm not, so what am I supposed to do? Just keep doing this? Oh god, now it's going really confusing. So we're fighting maths. Oh no, maths. Ah, what am I going to do? I am using walk on. No. 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 <laughs> Get warp speed. Well, I can't afford it. I guess I should save up or whatever. Yummy. I can't. Af oh, I can afford this now. Turtle upgrade your lily pad to a turtle friend. Okay. Quiet turtle. Alright, let's get a turtle! Ah, right, now I can move. Oh, I'm supposed to grab the fruit as no. more it drops. Okay. Now this makes a bit more sense. No. I see. Okay, so there is actually a no. bit more to this game. No. No, come on. No, no, come on, grab it. No. Give me that. Yeah, give me that 160. No. No. Seems pretty simple game, I suppose. Oh, I missed the fruit. Oh well. Choose an upgrade. I need static tongue. Book balloons against your tongue before extending it, and nearby bugs will stick to one another. Science! Frog fractions keeps typing. Ow, hot. On to. <laughs> okay. Typing of the dead. Awesome. Okay, that's pretty neat. Yeah! Alright. Typing. But it's actually not too shabby. Okay, this is actually not too bad. I kind of like this. It's like the kind of game that GLaDOS would link. Like Putt Putt Save the Zoo. Sort of tier. Ah oh, yes, dragon. Oh, I need more fruit. Okay, we're not going to unlock it. We want the dragon. We need one more fruit or something. Wow, this actually proved to be a lot better than that shitty MMO I just played. Jesus, don't bother with those online. It looks terrible. It's an outdated game anyway. Just don't bother. Just play anything else. Oh, I think I can afford the dragon now. Yeah, 
dragon. Upgrade your turtle friend to a dragon friend. Now he will really take you places. Alright. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, God. What are these? Oh, God. Now it's gone to who? Or something. Oh, my. This suddenly became a little more challenging. Oh, my. What is this? Yeah, suddenly out of nowhere it's come to this. Oh my god. This indignity, I guess that's my life bar. Come here. Yes, I want the apple. Oh my whoa, oh my well. Babies first too. Warp drive. Install a warp drive on your flying dragon. Now he will really take you places. Twenty-five thousand fruits. Oh god. No way, I'm not going to installing that. Upgrade your fruit to durians, they smell awful, so bugs will take longer to eat them. Yeah. Durians it is. Sound. Alright, look out for the water. Oh, I keep missing these durians. Oh, no, don't attack me. Damn, two who flies, whatever you are. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, jeez, look at all this. No. No. Oh my. This went even more insane. Ah, oh, what? The chicks don't dig on cyborgs, and it makes waking bugs less fun anyway. I'm oh, fine, I won't install it then, whatever. Okay. Lick, 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 lick. Oh my, oh, oh god, this is so insane. Um, oh, no. No, stop it. Stop. Everything is. Oh, I've actually taken damage. Oh, this sucks. Ah, no. Go away, bug. I wonder what lives in the water, sweet pea. I sure do miss walk on targeting. It was pretty sweet. Oh yes. What lives in the water? I don't know. Okay, so lickety lick. This is so weird. Arm was fun. Yay! We got more fruit. Alright. Walk on targeting is much better. Too bad I keep missing the fruit. Ah, no! I got stunned. Ah, no! Stop it! Oh, wait, so the shots don't actually hurt me, they just stun me for a period of time? I guess. But I guess that's a bad thing, because then the flies get to eat my fruit. I don't want you to eat my fruit. Run the fractions. Each is type A. Scoot. Okay. Get out of here. Annotation. Sentient. Get out. Antidote. Scoot. <laughs> Doodad. Doodad. Fish juice. Insidious. Insidious. A terrible horror movie. Undo. Situated. Alright. 
more upgrades. Or it's still so sick of work on targeting, it just doesn't have the friction of going oh natural. Well, I can't do anything else, I might as well just buy it again. So, what am I supposed to do? Oh wow. Really? Whee! <laughs> oh, like a billion. <laughs> oh wow! Awesome. No. I did not know that. <laughs> Under the water, the equivalent of finding DK's banana stash or something. Well, I don't need the fruit anymore. I'll just kill everything and get my warp drive. Yes, I want the warp drive. Now he will really take you places. Glad you could finally make it to pretend. Oh, we're dealing with a serious infestation here. No! No! Oh god. Don't let them push you around. Oh god. This is terrible. We let the androids push you around. We said not to do that. Shush you. <laughs> I think they might be racist. What? <laughs> There's Bookmars now. They're home point. They're going to regret messing with us. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Do a bowel. Oh, God. What? Do a bowel roll, really? Oh. <laughs> okay, this is very kind of neat. <laughs> Go, Space Dragon. We must defeat them using fractions. Which I'll probably never use, but still. I've not, I've not been mean to chat, so apologies for not discovering that on the water trick of it. Good flying with you, Return Hop. See you on the other side. Right. Warning, no refuge. Be attitude for game. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. It's a robo thing. What am I going to do? Watch your attack pattern. Am I supposed to touch it? No? Oh, I'm supposed to wick its claws or whatever. Bit weird, but hey, whatever the hell's your boat. You are under arrest. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You accuse a breaker of entering into our native habitat, Bug Mars, with intent to pour in our delicious space fruit. <laughs> what do you plead? <laughs> guilty, Your Honor. Not guilty, Your Honor. Amphibious, Your Honor. You got the wrong dude. My name is Mr. Weep. Has anyone ever told you that you look delicious? Oh god, I'm surrounded by bugs. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm picking that one. These charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years hard labor, but as a special offer this week, how do you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely horrible of Bug Mars. You drive a hard walk and I'll take the labor. <laughs> I don't know, what are the hours? How do you feel about playing? <laughs> if you just reach into my front pocket. <laughs> get him off, get the bugs off. <laughs> I don't know what are the hours. <laughs> a dutiful bug marshal must always be vigilant. The space who aren't going to steal themselves. Here, all you need to do is pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? Our oh, bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> who winked for this game? <laughs> <laughs> bugs, eight bugs, eight bugs. 
protecting my special space suit from your goddamn commie space books, your honor. Yes! That's um, actually correct. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was correct. <laughs> Next question on the series Bug Jersey Show. What is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? <laughs> Tricky question. Trick question. Ice cream is unheard of bug moss because of the climate. <laughs> Well, I had to try it, didn't I? <laughs> Four score and twenty bugs ago, bug in chief bug Thomas Jefferson, though, in the decoration of bugs, that we are blessed with which inalienable right? <laughs> the right to bugs, the right to own spentient space fruit as slaves, the right to refuse to testify against your hive mind in court, the right to play on the courtroom and own neon knickers. How the hell should I know? I'm a frog. Oh god, bugs everywhere. And he actually upset did that answer? During the War of Bug 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes bugs? <laughs> 420, I swear, they kind of twice, that's not a pot joke. <laughs> I'm thinking that one. A shameful moment in our history. He regretted it for the rest of his life. Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about fractions? <laughs> I was um, told there'd be no math on Nick's exam. Oh man, I love that. <laughs> I think my chair is made of bugs. Am I made of bugs? I'm impressed, Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score our fake naturalization program has ever seen. We were going to fight into the sun, but instead we decided to issue a work visa. You'll just sign here. <laughs> Fist pump. Yes. F1 loves a novelty signature. Just ask Book John Hancock. Oh, God. What? Uh, I know what we can put. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> Weg it. Mars fractions are the best fractions. Oh no. Oh wait, I can move around. Oh, we're, now we're playing this. Don't forget to avoid bullets were turned up. Huh? Oh. <laughs> this game is brilliant. This is just... Oh man, imagine if Dopefish was playing this. He would have so he'd be laughing his ass off right now. <laughs> More than me, probably. <laughs> uh, 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 Purchase the MIV uh, tongue and send a twenty-dollar bill into your CD-ROM drive. We have work vista and PR department. This well-trained team of marketers has ensured that the public has the correct impression of you. Oh, I need more Zork miss. How do I get more Zork miss? Let's dive into the water again. Oh, hello. What's down here then? Yay, I'm under the water. Wow, it's... <laughs> this is brilliant now. <laughs> what this As game. conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, huh? boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> hey Derek, how you doing? Oh, a fish. I think it's gonna eat fish. This game is... I don't know how to describe this game. This is like... An educational game, if <laughs> oh a puffer fish. <laughs> this game is honestly bonkers. I like it. <laughs> it was Felipe's son, 
Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637 after seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate sleepless Bill Bishop to a match, Bishop was the odds-on favourite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. Oh god, hello. Can I talk to you? <laughs> no, I guess I can't do anything with you. <laughs> he looks depressed. He sure does. Half walrus. I, I can't even describe this game. It's like one part... Oh, I'm not even going to attempt to describe it. I'm just going to play it and see what happens next. <laughs> I'm not so sure if I'm going to learn anything from this, though. It's going to be more like... Upset me. Oh, I don't want to attack that. That might be dangerous. That might be dangerous, too. Marshu has a nice underwater system, that's for sure. Revenge of the Sunfish. While it was universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game, officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated, and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill. And the rest is history. After a few sports sports school moms single-minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. <laughs> keep swimming at the it keeps staring at the swimming dragon. Hello, Mr. Mr. Dr. PNS's cat. <laughs> so we're getting a story of how boxing started here. That's Today's nice. boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place, but it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, <laughs> usually a variant of hypnosis. And though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. Okay. <laughs> this this is so I'm gonna guess I'm gonna go out on a whim here and say this game was made by a Swedish person or a Scandinavian person. Just on a complete whim guess here. Even though it doesn't say anything in the title, but So down we go. The real wonder, though, is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and then leave. But every once in a while, you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die hard fan. <laughs> who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of Wake Forest slip away, hello. only to return to fight again another day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Suddenly... <laughs> Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped and you feel the intense downward pressure well after a moment you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. Command module. The walls of this circular room curve to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hole. Why in the walls you see a porthole, a glowing display and a control deck. Now what are we it's aft? Uh... Oh god. <laughs> now we text adventure. Uh, an ETA of about 3,000 years. You see, on route details and new destination. 
Okay. The root details button posts its software for it wants to disclose some details really badly. Okay. The screen spills forth a slew of steps such as spiral spinward at Spoffy system, far faster than you can fathom. Okay. <laughs> the new destination bus is software. Okay. I so it's a sick of the current route. The nav computer dumps you into an interface so obtuse that before you even consciously process what's happening, you've hit the back button up the main map again. Okay. Uh, you see a portal and stuff. The control desk consists of an array of switches and a pair of joysticks. Let's hope you never need to override the ships or part because these are definitely not frog joysticks. Okay, a ladder leads aft. Go up ladder. You crumb across the ladder, Captain's Core. It was like an no purpose living area. Sweeping past seats and sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the floor. An oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. The decorative oriental rug seems well, it isn't quite way far on the floor. There's a significant dip around the middle. Lift rug. Moving the rug, you discover a recessed hatch below it. Go down hatch. The hatch is closed. Open hatch. You have to work it a bit, but after a... Okay, I've opened the hatch. You slip through the hatch. Every room, nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a grey machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There's a hatch being back. Okay. The machine consists of a spigot aimed with a flat platform. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped. Okay, look. This is your out of order note, <laughs> included in your game package. Uh, look at paper. Look at sheet of paper. Uh, okay, look sheet of paper. View paper. Uh. <laughs> Go get the game package, sweet pea. <laughs> uh, take paper. You rip the note off, leaving a fluttering piece of electrical tape behind and revealing a control panel. Ah, okay. Most of the control panel was rendered unusable by the sticky pink goop. You see a row of what look like radio preset buttons, but all but two of which are stuck. There's also a big red lever, none of these are legibly labeled. Pull lever. The machine whirs, dispensing mom's specialty. A voice says, pink goop streams out of the faucet, splashing down against the flat pole from getting everywhere. A couple drops land in your mouth and you recognize the flavor, bacon milkshake. Atmospheric anomaly detected, a different voice says, a whirring sound ensures and the bulk of the goop is sucked into invisible vents, meaning just enough goop flowing around to be gross and annoying. Atmosphere purified, the voice says triumphantly. Okay. I was going to be able to reset buttons. Oh, which two are stuck or something? Uh, press preset buttons. The raised button clicks into place, and the previously selected button cops up. Local currency says a robotic voice. <sighs> I hate text adventures. So <laughs> well, I don't hate them, but the fires so much. I just pulled the lever. That's what happened. I'm wish I wanted to pull it now. Alright. Ah, okay. The machine whirs, dispensing local currency. A voice says a thick stream of Zork mids shoot out of the Zosset, bounce off of the flat room, and scatter around the room. Take Zork mids. You spend a few minutes gathering up the Zosset Zork mids. Okay. So I have Zork mids. Now what? Uh, press resets. Button. Mom specialty. Press reset. Button. Oh, level. Ah, okay. So, uh, look. There's a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters to have a sticky pink group. Picking into the exposed machinery, you see what looks like an empty coffee can that you're getting doesn't belong there. Take coffee can. 
You twist the can and it eventually comes loose, but you've ripped the installation off in an adjacent wire in the process. And it begins sparking as it comes in contact with an adjacent truck. You glance down at what you've taken. Huh, it really is a coffee can. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, walk. Goop. Now, not only is it on every flat surface, now it's falling on a room too. Great job. Take. Goop. Uh, use. Coffee can on goop. Alright, fine. Go. Up. Hatch. Okay. A sweeping pod. Look at sweeping pod. The sweeping pod looks like it's a bed with a lid, but you have to assume it's got some sort of suspended animation functionality. I mean, right? There's a hole on top next to a gauge reading empty. Okay. Go in sweeping pod. You can't safely sleep until you're confident you'll return to Bug Mars by the end of the trip. <sighs> okay. <laughs> nightstand. Look at nightstand. The nightstand offers a single drawer. Open drawer. You open the drawer, including a manual. Read manual. It's a manual for a navigation computer in the command module. After reefing through it, you feel confident you understand how to use the interface well enough to sell the route back to Bug Mars. Right. Go. Oh, right. Oh, shit. Where do I go? How'd I get in here? Go. Uh, control room. I <laughs> understood as far as go. Ah, the ladder. Go up ladder. Ah, here we are, the command module. Use your butthole, a growing display. Use control deck. Okay. Walk control deck. Okay. Uh, use joysticks. Win game. I don't understand that verb. <laughs> okay. Uh, press switches. Best not to fill the controls. Fine. Read manual. Uh, read note. Read paper. In the tree. Read out of order note. Oh, okay. That is the note. <laughs> Uh, read. I don't. Oh, damn it! Go down ladder. Look drawer. Take manual. Go up ladder. Look control deck. Read manual. You take a moment to refresh your understanding of the navigation computer. Do you feel confident you understand? Okay, well then, use navigation computer. Ah, use controls. Use switches. Ugh. Walk. Damn it. A portal, a going display, and a control deck. Walk control deck. Well, I don't. It's hard to describe John DePro. Just let the chat tell you. This game is apparently educational, but it's also bonkers. Alright, per choice. Let's only need to do it. Override autopilot. Use autopilot. Oh, shit. What do I do? Use interface. Alright. Uh. Oh, override controls. Override navigation.
Glowing destination shows you a map of the galaxy. You see with two on-screen buttons, labeled route details and new destination. You definitely plot a course back to Bug Mars. The engines roar and you feel G-forces shift. The ETA reads 57 and 3 fifths years. You run a diagnosis and determine that the vast majority of the time is going to be spent going through Bug Customs. What we can sweep through it. Go up ladder. Use sweeping pod. Uh, open sweeping pod. Fine. Look sweeping pod. Hmm. Uh, Hole on top next to a gauge reading empty. Sweep. Your head has barely touched the pillow when an alarm begins repeating. Perfume chamber empty. You will wake up cranky. You assume it's going to stop eventually, but as a couple minutes later, it still hasn't. You get up. There's no way you can sleep like that. Oh, what? Perfume chamber empty. Oh, God. Go down hat. Hmm. Okay. A whole expansion sticking the glue. Look. Great machine. Uh what grey machine? Puts goop in grey machine. That doesn't go there. <laughs> uh the nest of wires had a coffee can in it. Electrical tapes, frost them above. Uh, take electrical tape. Taken. Okay. Perfume tank. Catch pink goop. You can't get a meaningful amount just by collecting loose goop. Ah. Oh. Look, wires. There's a burr wire in there sparking as it makes contact with an electrical. Use. Electrical tape on wire. You wrap the tape around the burr wire insulating it. Burr wire insulating it. Oh, whatever. Go up hatch. Sleep. Oh, no perfume situation. God damn it. Have I missed anything? Go pepper swim in the next time. Okay, catch perfume in can. Alright, look. Grey machine. Press button. Hmm. Use can on grey machine. You place the can below the spigot. Uh, pull lever. Dispensing Mum's specialty. The machine says a thick stream of pink goop streams out. It mostly gets everywhere, but the coffee can does end up filled. You grab the can. Right, so now I have a pink can full of this goop. So I guess I go up the hatch now. Or whatever. Uh, sleep. Fine. Use can. Use can on self. Use can on me. Okay. Ah, hold on. I know what to do. Look, sweeping pod. Use can on hole. You bring the can close to the hole, and the hole sucks the pink goop right up your nib. Now, can I go to sleep now? Yes, I beat it. <laughs> At last. You lie down in the sweeping pod, close the lid, and drift off. Secure that in 57 and something years you'll return to Bug Mars, a wealthy frog. When you wake up, you're clearing up in your sweep pod. You bleary glance around to get your bearings and appear to have been sweeping on a heart-shaped bed covered with roses. A voice comes from the next room. Awake already? A wispy human figure in a bathrobe and crown walks in. She bends over and kisses you on the nose and suddenly you feel your body shifting. Yay, she laughs and claps, and you realize that you've been transmogrified into a human form. <laughs> what? <laughs> How is this gonna work? <laughs> Watch out, man, they're eating your fruit. What am I supposed to do? No! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh god. <laughs>
<laughs> you awake with a start. What a horrible dream. You call your friend Draggy the Flying Dragon just to talk to someone. Yellow, Draggy says. I just have the worst nightmare. You explain the situation. I'm not sure that a support group for human buggies is really going to get much of a following. Draggy ponders. Maybe if we jumped up a little publicity first. I know, just the PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up at your door dressed to the nines. He tosses a frog, a frog tuxedo at you. Put this on, babe. We're running for president. Ha 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 ha. First space to continue. <laughs> Candidate Hop. What's the <laughs> allegations you are not a natural born citizen, that you're under 35, and that you're a frog? What is this? <laughs> oh, what now? DDR time? Really? Oh, I'm terrible at DDR. No, no, I'm gonna so fail this. Ah, I'm not good at DDR. Oh wait, I can just tap the button so I can idiot. Okay, good. I can actually tap the buttons and get away with it. <laughs> oh, thank God. No, I would not have done. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, oh I saved myself there. Oh, Jesus! I, I'm literally tapping the buttons. I might have been doing it properly, but <laughs> I cannot do this. <laughs> this is not how you debate. President Obama and Mitt Romney will not be debating with DDR games. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Please stop, I'm terrible and my hands are starting to hurt. <laughs> Maybe they should. Yeah. Come on, Obama, get down with the fuck! Oh man, you smoked him, you're a shoo for president. I tapped buttons like an idiot, I am best president. Betsy Blue Bonnet. What? <laughs> Sir Clarence Gastropop. <laughs> Ferdinand Croker. Flaps McQueen. <laughs> Morag Hedgely. The Tiger. Was he in this introducing a draggy ceiling eater as himself? Oh my god. Created by Twinbeard. <laughs> Numerators and denominators. Woof. Frog fashions. Here's your bug coffee, Mr. President. Heavy on the cream. Oh. Oh, what? Weather report. Thunderstorms. Bug assets. 2 million Zork mids. Cost to produce bug porn. 10,000 Zork mids per megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? Uh. <laughs> uh 200. Yeah. Don't worry, this interface is temporary. Bug yeah. software engineers are hard at work on Bug Excel 98. How many pop-up banner ads do you want to purchase? 200! Unfortunately, you have zero Zork mids, and that would require 3 million. Uh, one. No, I'm broke! What price do you wish to charge for a megabyte of bug porn? 200! Thanks, but, uh, I'm into ladybugs. The in-house bug porn musician decided to make Bugs Celtic Folk today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Bugs seemed unaware of porn today. Press space. You made 200 megabytes of bug porn at $10,000 a megabyte. You sold 19 megabytes of bug porn at $200 a megabyte. Wow. I have apparently really fucked up this bot. <laughs> How many Zork mids do you want to order the Bug Federal Reserve to print? A lot! I get. Well, I guess we'll let your success worry about the inflation problem. <laughs> what upgrade would you like? Bug drugs. <laughs> Drugging the water supply will pacify delinquent bugs, keeping them off the streets and out of trouble. I'm not going to let me staying home and watching bug porn. Meteorology satellites. Oh, I can't afford that. Walk on targeting. Ooh, bug drugs. Yes. Oh. Bug weather, hot and dry. <laughs> weather report, hot and dry. 
Oh, what? Okay, let's make a hundred. And a hundred. You should to charge more for your product than it costs to produce. Yes! Impressive wingspan. <laughs> Superb performances made today's book porn too hot. The warehouse burned down. <laughs> oh, cool. I think I made a profit or something. Oh, never mind. Nine, nine, nine. No. Nine, 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 nine. Yes, inflation problem. Nobody cares. I want more. Oh, wow. I'm so rich. I'm going to be able to afford satellites. Yes. Book weather. Sunny. I, <laughs> I am using Atari computers. Notice an outbreak of frog STDs in bug porn is that is, is driving production costs up. Bug. I can't imagine whether that's so right, but eleven. Uh, what? Oh. Okay. How many megabytes of books one do you wish to make? One hundred. One hundred. Two hundred. I prefer something more. Uh, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> the book porn centers are working today. There will be no book porn available at book retail. The book porn centers bought all your book porn at once time. <laughs> You made up. You made stuff. Oh no! I screwed up the economy again. I guess we'll wait. You'll say some way about the inflation problem. Yes, indignity. A lot. <laughs> oh, I can't afford anything. Boo! Oh wait, padlocks available. Adding padlocks to bug porn storage could suck down on shrinkage considerably. Yes. It costs you 12k per megabyte and you charge 200 per megabyte. Oh, right, I need to charge more then. Okay. And there's some weird stuff in the background now that I didn't see. Uh, 12,000 sort of per megabyte. How many megabytes of bus porn do you wish to make? Right, 50. Uh, how many pop up banners do you want to purchase? 50. What price do you wish to charge? 500! It's not you, it's my inability to distinguish you from prey. Good eye, mate! <laughs> Let's start that business. Day four results. Juvenile bugs posing as health inspectors gave your product the thumbs up. Everybody wants to see. Bugs marvel at your low prices and kept coming to your door long after you ran out of porn. Okay, so I didn't screw up as bad this time. Oh well. Nobody cares. I can just make more money because I'm awesome. Presidential swimming pool. This heated pool provides a familiar wet environment in which the book president can relax. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not taking a break here, you need to get back to work, huh? But I have a turtle. Yay! Turtle buddy! <laughs> I don't care, Rasan, I have I can make lots of wonga. I am the president. So, turtle buddy, what do we do? Okay, let's get back to work. How do we get back to work? Wait, I've no... I've no... Uh-oh. Okay. Fuck Ratchets! And I guess that's the end. Prima Daviani. <laughs> wow. That was unintentionally one of the best games I've played this year. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Please tell me Dopefish has not watched this video. He has to play this game. Tell him nothing. <laughs> oh my god. This game is insane. Oh, there's more of it. Oh, we're gonna get banned. <laughs> Oh, 
This has to go on YouTube, yes. This is going on YouTube immediately. As soon as I can get dope. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I got nothing to say. This is just one of those insanely games that really catches you off guard. <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> Oh, good thing they pixelated all the bug porn. Excellent! <laughs> Wait a minute! Oh, you have, you have not, you have missed out on an experience, doubt there. You need to play this game immediately. It's brilliant. As a one-off thing, brilliant. <laughs> oh. I fought in your general direction. That name. Valdi Wagner Stavansky. Oh, more pixels. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the right place. Thanks to the Bay Area Indie Dev Scene. <laughs> the place wrong. <laughs> That's just with a flower. That's not even porn. Come on. Memory of beard number two. 2007 to 2012. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're a dirty bugger. Well, I'm gonna get banned off live stream. <laughs>